say success is the best revenge. Heard they was sleeping again, said no more. This is a rude awakening, kicking the door. Back and I'm better than ever before. Don't get a mistake and I'm ready for war. I see the ice and I'm up in the score. I get to back and jump in the doors. Follow the core and I'm back to the more. Take the sheet over and I trust some more. When I get done at the scene, I won't leave anything. You won't even know who was involved. Don't let me do it because I overdo it and do it till I cannot do it no more. All that the data's I'm proving them wrong. Back with the classic, I know it's been long. Had it was missing me while I was gone. I smell the victory, back up on time, and it's where I belong. Like it ain't fucking me, we make it history, fall through the misery, weather this fall. Can't let them get to me, no weapon form, surprise. My arm be b all over my vibes. The pen got options, I keep it right on the dress. And next to the eyes, still applying pressure, somebody stop us. Came back for the win. Lot of no money in my head. Go on, tell a friend, tell a friend. They say success is the best revenge. I just came back for the win. Lot of no money in my head. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFL. See matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. tight in look on the first play of the drive. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 for the Niners there to first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And now it's third and three. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers. A nice run by him, don't get me wrong, but the blocking up front was a thing of beauty. I think for an opening drive, how about that for an exclamation point? Just what you said, good blocking, 
Good vision, and he accelerated to the end zone. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. To throw again on second down, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They give him a gain of 38. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game, and they hit that one there for big yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go to Elliott again. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be left with second and a couple. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here's second and two now from the three. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. tight end here on the running play. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force a turnover on downs. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? And now off to the races, down the right side. 30, 10, 5, touchdown, 49ers. So from back deep, deep in their home territory all the way into the end zone. You think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also showed that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, run be it, safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. 
That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From the 10. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Lance in the 49ers now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 30 on second down, Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Here's Lance to throw it. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here we go. Here we go. The 49er right. offense set to get this drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Down. Shot. 17. On second down, McCaffrey. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 15 for the Niners there in a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On the move past the 40. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. 
67 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll send a receiver in motion left. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers and freed up the D linemen to make the play. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This play on fourth and one we're going to get a break and a timeout it's just their first so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime fourth down field goal try coming so lance is off and on comes robbie gold and this a 39 yard attempt and the 39 year old veteran puts it right through and they will move up by 10 now 17 to 7. So it's fourth and one. They wind up taking the three. I'm not sure that that offensive unit, judging by the sideline, Charles was in 100% agreement with the decision. No, not at all. But the head coach has final call on this. We know that. But let's face it. Offenses want to feel like, hey, you believe in us? Let us go for it? We'll see if that is a problem for them moving forward in this game. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Prescott. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Boy, the coverage there airtight as he comes away with the interception. Love that observation there because they were taking a shot in the end zone. But you're right about the coverage. Absolutely tremendous. And this they can clip for a training tape. Staying with him down the field, locates the football in the air, and comes away with the interception. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing 
equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. On second and inches, Prescott. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Cowboys! The Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 40. The 20. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Well, it's only a one-score game. Third quarter, mind you, but they're going to go for the onside kick right here. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And the 49er hands team does its job. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try. And now a fumble. The ball's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. There he goes, right side. 20, 10, 5. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery, everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. And how about this starting field position? First and goal from two yards out. Elliott diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was, and when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. A really nice play. On second and 12, Prescott fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Prescott on third and two. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And incomplete on the deep ball. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Fourth down, Prescott. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. 
And they turn it over. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 44. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Playing against a 3 4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Lance now on first down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Off of play action, here's Lance. Out to his left. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the 49ers have taken a fourth quarter lead. I thought that was a nice job there, feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it. But the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone and his confidence was rewarded. And he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about where we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Finding room at midfield. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. Pass the 20. Five and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. 
Well, part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match the opposition's pick six from earlier in this game. Taken from about the 12. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk. Now Lance throws the interception, his third. Picked up by Amway Thomas. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Prescott from the gun. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Noah Brown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they get the score, partner. Game's not over, but they still need some help here. Agreed. They definitely need some help, but they took care of the first part by scoring themselves. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. taken down but not before they work it across midfield 23 yards the pick up there fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten the Lance gonna throw a quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 85 yards on the ground for him so far. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I 
don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw it out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. Let's go. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Lance looking to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. It'll go as just a 15-yard punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Prescott steps away to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. One last shot now for Prescott. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done. But in if God for me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. And handle my business when it was my problem. G. Foster.